Hi Leos, welcome to Preferred Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click the notification bell. So we're back with another reading for the sign of Leos. Remember that the readings are in general, all of the messages will not resonate with everyone. And now to get caught up on the gender of the cards, we all have masculine and feminine energies. So we're going to start off with some messages from the Oracle deck. Sacred Destiny Oracle deck, and then we're going to get into some messages from the tarot. Um, you guys may be going through a transformation, a change, rebirth cycle. But let's see. Messages by our Leos. Solid tool. You may be alone, spending some time alone to yourself. More messages for Leo. Getting some clarity, receiving clarity. May have been a, you may have been uh, to yourself since the recent full moon. More messages for Leo. Maybe thinking about traveling alone. More messages, please and thank you. For the sign of Leo. Seems like that's the only one so far, but here we go. With the flexibility. So, um, yeah, some changes. So, you're adjusting. Adjusting to what's going on. All right, you make change at the bottom of the deck. Um, you may not be too keen or, you know, yeah, about the situation of, of you being alone, okay? You may not like being by yourself to a certain extent, but this is just what you need, just what you need, just what the doc doctor ordered, okay? So we're going through some healing, more messages for Leo, and if there's a need to adjust to what's going on. Um, more messages for Leo, please. I just want maybe two more. And two more fell out. You are resisting this change. The change just slid out in reverse in my hand. Um, we have thriving. Thriving. You got this. Push through. So you could be feeling as if you're there's no change happening, but there's a need to release something from the past or whatever you have going on because, yeah, you may be re resisting a change that's already happening, that's happening right now. Okay? Let's get some, some uh, more messages from the tarot. And then we'll read one or two of these. More messages for our Leos. We'll just clar clarify every one of these. More messages for our Leos. All right. Clarify solitude for the Leos, please and thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. All right. We have an opportunity. You've been gifted. With an opportunity so this could be unexpected income for some this could be a job offer work offer the emperor or you're thinking about this okay you may be spending time alone thinking about a new offer or going about a new idea we have the emperor card at the bottom of the deck divine masculine energy <sighs> taking control of your life leadership now the pentacles underneath this emperor energy independence Independence, gaining control, becoming st stable. Someone's thinking long, long term. There we go. Someone's thinking long term. Maybe someone's thinking about offering, offering or accepting this um, opportunity that's coming towards them. If there's not an opportunity there, like right in front of your face right now, you feel this coming or it's on its way. Clarify the flexibility for our Leos. Clarify flexibility for our Leos. The Ace of Cups, yeah. Two Aces so far. Adjust. Adjust to this new love opportunity. Adjust to this change in your emotions. Adjust to... Um, okay, bend, don't break. Bend, don't break when it comes down to this new opportunity in... Uh, towards emotional fulfillment the nine of wands don't give up so there may be some challenging times in the midst of a situation when it comes down to your emotions 
it could be a relationship or something like that or something that just heartfelt that you want to do um continue to push through you will thrive right let's get more messages clarify thriving clarify thriving <laughs> i'm loving it so far okay and someone's telling me to just do a reading for Leos, do a reading for Leos, do a reading for actually a few signs tonight. I'm going to get some done. But we have the Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Clarifying the Thriving card. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone's serious. Someone's ready to come in and bring in uh, to uh, cause some changes. Or this is you about to, you know, shake some, shake some ish up. All right. Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. We have this Ace of Cups that's leading leading to this wish fulfillment energy. I love this. What's the change of the change card? I could barely uh, shuffle a deck, but we have closing out a cycle, learning some lessons. I'm loving this, Leo. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get some more messages. Ace of uh, Swords at the bottom of the deck. Clarity truth honesty what's the ace of pentacles clarify the ace of pentacles prosperity abundance long-term commitment stuff like that but i was just saying ten of pentacles and we have the ace of wands so you may be offered this abundance um financial abundance it could be extra time it could be an abundance of love i don't know what this is but i'm definitely feeling like it's going to be an abundance of it two of cups you're going to be having these connections seeing eye to eye with others healing taking a break celebrating for the celebrating the choices that you've made it could be a relationship but i feel like you're celebrating the choices that you've made uh the fight that you've been through you put up a fight. You made things happen. You're going towards a peaceful mind. Huh. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. The Justice card. Balance. Balance. Things happening as they're supposed to, okay? You deserve this opportunity and love. Get ready for it. Adjust. <laughs> Allow it to come in towards you. The five of wands. There may be some competition that may have been involved in the past. Or there's a need. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. This could be like you being chosen in the midst of some competition. Or this is you continuing to fight. You're willing to fight. You're willing to put up the, the fight in the midst of competition to bring some justice. And you're like love life or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Clarify the ten of cups. The Nine of Wands. Yep. I just said this. I just said this. Thank you. So, we have the Nine of Wands not giving up. Not giving up on true love and receiving a peace of mind. Moving away from that willingness to fight. That survival energy that you put up the fight. You did what you had to do in order to make some changes in your life. In order to bring in this new energy. Revival. Oh, I'm feeling rebirth for sure. Clarify the, the world card. The Eight of Cups, walking walking away from people, place, things that do not serve you. People who did this, people who did this, walked away from those people, place, things that did not serve them. It didn't serve you any longer. It made you feel, it, it, didn't, it didn't make you feel good. It's not bringing you better in your life. It's not bringing you that good energy. It's not bringing forth that stuff that you're looking for. Guess what? You're closing that cycle and you're bringing in change. Come on now. Come on now. You're doing your work. Whoever doing their work, you're doing your work. Congratulations. The moon card. Seeing through illusions. Seeing through illusions. Facing your fears. Uh, someone could be a little emotionally manipula manipulative, but... Whatever, you know who that person is. Clarify the justice card. Clarify the justice card. Could be a Libra energy. Libra here. But something that with the Libra, something, the, the planets and stuff like that happen with Libra energy, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles. Cap Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. There we go. And this is your abundance. Claim, I heard claiming your abundance, claiming your title, knowing who you are, knowing your worth, receiving what you deserve. The Hermit card, prayer and meditation, going within, um, adjusting to this change of um, this status. Somebody, someone's status is about to change. Like you leveling up for sure. For sure. All right, let's get a spread. We're going to put these or oracle to the side. I want to get like a little fake spread or something. Or... Just put these up top and we're just going to put out some more cards see what comes out hmm let's see what comes out of the camper deck 
let's just see what what hops what falls out okay what messages do you have for the leos what messages do you have for the leos more messages for the leos oh it makes me want to go into the super attractive day too we just want to see what comes out okay what messages do you have for the leos this is a message that someone needed to hear i guess what message do you have for the leos all right here we go main female we also have unexpected income so you guys may be receiving something really soon uh, it could be from a woman or uh you could be could be from a woman you could be the white main woman something like that you're you're going you look you're on your pathway to success i see you leo i see you more messages privileged lady okay People may feel as if you're privileged or you are privileged. You're, you're, you you may be with a wealthy man or someone is looking for this privileged lady because she's just as wealthy and she kind of match your fly or something like that. Concern. But I see someone may be concerned about someone not being um, their true selves, okay, or being or showing that their true selves to another person. The question. Question. So someone is probably, we have someone willing to date, date you, you willing to date another person, getting to know this person, um, or this could be someone, it kind of came out kind of in reverse. So someone could be thinking about, give me a second. So as I was saying, some people might be thinking about dating or um, thinking about pulling away from dating or avoid dating. Some people may be avoiding that change though, like I was saying. So, um... I want more messages. More messages for our Leos. Super attractive deck. That's what I was going to More messages for our Leos. Can't even like Lord knows I can use this energy to change and stuff because but I'm gonna do as this card at the bottom of the deck say release and just let it go, let it go, just let it go. Don't get too upset, just let it go. Things will be smooth, let it go. Um no, it's nothing too bad, just sometimes things get irritating to me. Yeah, especially when I can't control the situation. But sometimes you just gotta let it go. Um, <laughs> more messages for our Leos, please, and thank you. More messages for our Leos. More messages for our Leos, please, and thank you. What other messages? Oh, come on now. Ace of Wands. Out of the super attractive deck. Anything is possible. Seeing better days. Yes, after healing. And being alone. Being in solitude. We have these new beginners coming. You may be feeling backstabbed, betrayed, left out in the cold, feeling like things are being destroyed, but it's being destroyed for something better. All right? It's being destroyed for something much better. The um, the full card. This is no magician card. The magician card manifesting. He's 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 putting some things together and following your intuition, baby. Follow your intuition. Even even through dark times you have to see the light at the end of the tunnel because look the queen of pentacles there she is right underneath there your worth we have the ace of chalices here brand new beginnings and love opportunities also things that have been lost that have been lost it's about to be returned like and it may not be the same thing it's about to be something better it's going to be replacement so much better more messages for leo's the king of chalices full of love full of emotions emotionally controlled being able to teach others um helping others great speaker cancer pisces scorpio energy you may be feeling stabbed in the back by one maybe feeling left out by one may need to heal from this situation bring some type of justice and balance love yourself first more messages for the leos the four of pentacles yeah pulling back drawing back protecting yourself this is security 
and this four of pentacles security the sun card here you go at the bottom of the deck there you go and you're protecting yourself you're controlling that beast within try not to go off on the person who maybe may who may have thought they have gotten away with something yeah it could have hurt you it may have made you feel a type of way or whatever but you're controlling your emotions here and now you're you're securing yourself you're creating these boundaries you're about to release some things you're allowing this this uh situation to change or whatever yeah, you're about to be happy you're about to be real real happy more messages for our leos nose itching that's the truth so we have the judgment card time to make a decision about these new um, beginnings about these new ideas about things being possible taking this leap of faith there's the full card taking this leap of faith making some changes causing this change allowing the shifts to happen so that you can take this leap of faith more messages for the leos more messages for our leos something else flipped over in here i feel like it did but um so far i see the eight of pentacles remain focused you remember what we were saying the other day yesterday um it may be a lot of distractions or whatever trying to throw you off but remain focused anything is possible seven of chalices here um it could be some mixed emotions but i feel like you're just looking for some different possibilities you, someone's thinking long and hard about the situation could be a little a drinker we have the knight of wands here but someone is trying to figure out um yeah someone's kind of feeling trapped and wanted to release some energy but i feel like you're going to be able to release that energy more messages and we two of wands time to walk away take a different approach get away from the past let those demons stay where they are stop needing to there may need to be uh, um energy you may need to face your demons also that's for someone face your demons face what it is you have to face who you are face the truth face, face the darkness within you like always seeing the good out of a person or seeing always trying to just see the good within yourself it, it takes away from having to work on the darkness within you and i'm not saying and but hold on we remember too much focus on the dark things will bring more dark energy towards you but what i'm saying is is that we have to work on that dark energy within ourselves so that we can transmute that energy into more light energy all right um yeah you can't just run from the energy that's there is there is there within you that's who you are stop acting like that's not there face the fact that that is there face the fact that it needs to be worked on and work on it you know what i'm saying make that change so we or work on those things walk away from those people places things that do not serve you that's bringing that toxic energy that you want that that's that you're continuing to look at that's keeping you from moving forward to make that change we have victory at the bottom of the deck especially with loving yourself loving yourself first brings it loving yourself first takes for you to walk away from those energies that's not for you that's just loving yourself first you like um that just comes to, when you come to the reality of loving yourself you're just like i cannot deal with those energies that's not on the same level as me that's not we, we're not in the, in the same arena we're not on the same page we're not in the same chapter we're just not there it's just not gonna work and it's not it's, it's not to say that this person or whoever that person is we might meet we may not meet again or whatever the energy is but in that moment you have to it's just time to relocate move around <laughs> let's get some clarifiers more clarifiers clarify the ace of wands let's go to another deck see what comes out I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but it's telling me to say it right now. Something is telling me to say it right now. Even in the midst of you being alone, allow yourself to change and be flexible and continue to thrive. 
because change is coming. Coming. I don't know if I said it already, but if I didn't, there it is again. <laughs> All right. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands for the Leos. Clarify this Ace of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. Son of got your finances, your stability. Someone could be, oh, someone could be coming in offering data energy, offering this, um, provide a protector grounded energy wanting to be um husband wifey type of energy someone thinking about giving this energy to another person something like that ten of swords why is the ten of swords here well someone just has a um new business idea okay the four of cups mm -hmm. oh you might have accepted it before not anymore you was dealing with the ten of swords energy you was dealing with it. You accepted it. You you got stabbed in the back. You was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'll deal with you again. It's cool. It's all right. There's other people involved. Whatever. It's cool. I'm strong enough for what I done dealt with worse. So it's like, you better start rejecting it. Start rejecting it. For real. Control your emotions in this situation and put a dang on lock and key on your heart. I don't know. Clarify the uh, King of Chalices. King of Wands. All right. King of Wands know exactly what he wants. And the way you know what this King of Wands gives me the energy of, I don't get played. Played. I'm going to play alone, but I don't get played. I'm not going to play with you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, the world card closing out cycles of if maybe if you work in a play about this certain individual or something, I feel like you're about to close that cycle up. Or um yeah. This is a masculine energy, it's about to go go after what they want. They're growing, they're glowing. Yeah, yeah, because I see we have the king of pentacles, king of chalices, and the king of wands. All we missing is the king of swords. Someone needing to get into their mental, into their thick skull that this is what you're gonna do. This is the move that you're going to make. Could just be about finances and leadership. and Because, yeah, I could unrelate to the masculine energy in this reading. Mm -hmm. Because it's a certain area in my life where I just like, I was like, hey, I'm not moving. <laughs> not moving. Just not moving. Rather not. But I get this. So you guys take care of resonating your area in the area of your life. Closing out the cycle, though. We're closing out the cycle. Going after what we want. Things that's emotionally fulfilling. Control our emotions in a situation. Business and emotions. Separate it. Separate them. All right. Clarify the fourth uh, uh, pentacles. I told you. Separate it. That's crazy. Three of swords came out on this four of pentacles. I thought I just said that. And then we have the seven of pentacles. on Pentacles. Cups here. The seven of chalices is here. This is mixed emotions, though, and this is like looking for or visualizing new opportunities and stuff like that. It could be mixed emotions also. Uh-huh, being afraid of oneself because you're challenged by your dark, be dark behaviors and needing to let go because source is asking, like, what you going to do? It's time to make a decision. Are you focusing on your dreams? Or are you going to stay in scattered mode? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, y'all. I'm telling you. This is, this is, I'm relating. I'm relating here, especially with, with, okay, specifically here, since uh, we're going to talk about it. We're reading. We're reading cards on YouTube. Sometimes I feel like, okay, maybe I don't get the recognition that I deserve. But at the same time, when I read messages, I read comments, stuff like that, I'm like, okay, cool. It gives me that <sighs> things that I, you know, it, it's okay. I, I know what I'm doing this for, right? And um, sometimes I just like, whatever. I just throw this out the window. But remember, I have to re always remember the, re the reasoning of me doing this. Judgment card. So it's like, hold on, wait. Hold on. You have this idea. You have this going on. I gave you this gift for a reason type of energy. 
what you're going to do with it. Are you going to stay focused or are you going to be scattered because of all of this stuff that's going on, which is probably nothing but a test anyway, to see if you're going to continue to push forward or you're going to look at the darkness of the situation or look at the darkness within yourself and not even uh, try to work in that, on that energy. You see what I'm saying? Um, more clarifies. Clarify the judgment card. Three, yep. Working on oneself, collaborating with others, allowing yourself to love, dating, messages of love, an equal give and take, gaining a new perspective about an equal give and take, receiving what you deserve, being patient with yourself, being patient with receiving the recognition that you deserve, success, putting in that work. Look, look at this. Ten, ten of uh, wands is behind that. Six of uh, wands. Putting in the work. Taking a different approach with your new with your ideas. Taking a harder route with your ideas. Not taking an easy way out. You know what I'm saying? Clarify the eight of pentacles. Because nothing. Let me not go there. The knight of wands. Taking a risk. Taking a risk. The easy way out is sticking to the nine of five. Sticking to what you've been doing on a regular basis. But the, the risk and having faith... Taking that leap of faith is 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 going. It's taking that risk to what source is calling you to do, allowing that change to come in, allowing yourself to be flexible. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you just let go of the your security, but at the same time, when are you going to take some type of opportunity? When are you going to take some type of chance? When are you going to make these moves? I don't know what this is for for whoever's life, but source is like, when are you gonna make the move? I need you to make a move. I need you to make some type of decision right now so I can start giving you something. Or things could start, could start playing out. It won't play out if you just stand still. What you gonna get here? Can't give you anything. I cannot, I cannot uh, continue to bless you or give you the things that you need in order to move on in life if you're not moving at all. So I need you to move. Okay, anyways, let's move on. Source was not. Um, <laughs> clarify the seven of chalices. God be coming through life. Hmm strong uh this the strength card and the basically what i was just saying and the star card strength courage and faith the emperor card that you divine masculine energy you taking control of your life you balancing out that energy here nine of pentacles you know your worth you know who you are you can do this on your own but at the same time you also know i'm pretty sure this is the energy that's going towards uh i also know that i can do better with the team I start building something, you know what I'm saying? Allowing others to come in, trusting others, trusting source to bring in someone who I could truly trust. <laughs> All right. Leo energy and um, Aquarius energy. Opposites. Opposites. You may be dealing with an Aquarius energy that could be like a, it could be a karmic, karmic. It could be someone who's just challenging the hell out of you that's making you better, that's, that's making you. That's helping you see other opportunities in life. This can be you just continue to have that hope and faith that things will work out. Even in the midst of confusion. Knowing that there's going to be plenty of opportunities that's coming towards you. Um, yeah, this definitely could. When, when I say something about the karma, this definitely could be someone's karmic. This person is very... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I know about this uh, energy. The, the Leo Aquarius energy. That's definitely your opposite. This person could be very challenging to your to your energy. Um, <laughs> and it could feel as if, as if like it's, it's supposed to be some type of, no, you're supposed to be learning from the learning from the connection. Not to say that it may not be relationships out here with, with this type of energy. But with this right here, this may, this may have been a um, challenging situation where a person that just had to learn from it. Now we get more messages. I've been here long enough, though. Wow. Yeah, this could have been some in and out energy, risky behavior. Now someone needed to make a choice about bringing some type of stability into your, in their life. No, that's about the, basically the same ish, same thing. Clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands. Get this reading done and get it out here. Nine of mm, nine of wands. Nine of wands. Not wanting to give up. Not wanting to give up. Needing to push through. 
pushing through, exhausted though, it's tired, tired of looking at the past, tired of looking at the dark energies and not dealing with it, but being afraid with, afraid of it. Like, oh my goodness, I don't want to deal with it. I'm scared of it. No, just deal with it, handle it. It's there. It's like, it, it is what it is. It's here. It's here. We have dark energy. We have light energy. We work together. Bring in some type of balance. All right, seven of swords. Don't be deceptive. Don't be deceptive. Don't be deceptive. When it's time to move on, source is saying move on. Don't sit in this energy for too long. Learn your lessons and move on. Um, <laughs> clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card. The will of fortune. Change. 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 I said something about that karmic energy. Change. It could be some karmic changes going on. Feeling stab stabbed in the back. Betrayed. Backstab. We have the ten of swords here. And it's time to reject this energy. And it, look, guess what? I know you're being called to do so. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. So it's just telling you to make a move, reach out, get away, progress, move forward. Clarify the star card. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Hopeful wish fulfillment. You won't wish fulfillment, but you're indecisive as heck. About new beginnings. About dealing with immature behaviors or toxic energies or... Uh, Help, being held back from this energy, whatever it is. Clarify the will of fortune. The ace of swords receiving truth and clarity. And there is our fourth ace. Right? Because we had it earlier. We didn't see the ace of swords. But with change brings clarity. And new ideas. And seeing through illusions. Maybe a better Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Or someone who's a little cold and narcissistic. My way, the highway type of person. Yeah. We're going to read one of these. One of these. Do I want to read change or thriving? Change. I'm reading change. Throughout time, people have looked to the heavens for signs, and even in the ever-changing movement of the clouds, they have seen shapes and forms that seem to be direct messages from the Creator. Clouds are shape shifters. Their essence is the same, but they can change from mist to rain, to ice to snow, to water. The transient, the transient nature of clouds lead the understanding that life is I think it says leads to the understanding. Let me see. Let me make sure. <laughs> no, it says nature of clouds lends the understanding that life is trans transitory and ever changing. The sacred landscape wants you to know it's okay to change your mind. It's all right to change direction. You do not need to be consistent. This is this is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside and listen to the beat of your own drum. You don't you don't need to follow tradition. Create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Be daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to, to continue to be done that way. You can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you. For this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Baby, that was y'all reading. Like, yes, that was your reading, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time.